Welcome back, everybody. Tonight, I'm smoking quiet night, uh, in case you're wondering. Uh, so last night, after I got done recording, uh, the skies opened up and things got crazy. Bad lightning storm, and it was more intense being in the shed. And I'd been in the shed before, because I've had this set up since last October. And I've been through some storms, but nothing like yesterday. So it was a little more intense being in here than if I was in the house. So it was a bit uh, um, intense to say the least. Uh, as soon as I was done with this video, lightning storm, crazy, lots of lightning, heavy rain. Uh, and I only, got, I was a little concerned. I wasn't nervous. I wasn't scared or anything like that. It's just the fact that I have a pool. My neighbor's got a pool here. I got my pool right behind me. And, uh, uh, you know, I was afraid I might have a heart attack if uh, lightning happened to hit uh, the pool. So I was a little nervous to say the least. Um, but yeah, it was, it was interesting. I probably should have recorded during it. I almost turned the camera back on and, and talked about it, but, uh, Haunted Bookshop, which is the, the tobacco I was smoking last night was the perfect choice considering everything that happened, uh, when I was recording that. But anyway, uh, so today wasn't that bad when I went to work. I was amazed. It was, uh, it was, uh, I wouldn't say stressful. It wasn't, it just was, really. It, it, it was just, uh, I don't know, interesting to, to think you spend, uh, I've been there 20, almost 21 years now, and, uh, you know, you think about that, you spend all your life sitting in a cubicle, entering things and doing other things, and then you're dead, or you retire, and then you die, and it seems all... Again, the absurdity of life, I guess you could say. It's that whole uh, existentialist kind of thing that I'm going through for some reason of late. I, I don't know if it's the virus that's bringing this on, and I'm kind of just kind of, you know, had that moment of, like, uh, you just, like, what is the point of all this? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let me spark this one up. Gotta be honest, I uh, I was a little nervous when I was packing this up. This is why I lit it before I started the video, is because the the tobacco was a little wet. Um, and because uh, I have, as you can see behind me, I got mason jars of tobacco, and these things hold hold the moisture pretty good. I mean, well, obviously they're airtight and everything. They're really, I highly recommend these things. Um, these are great. I gotta get more of these to be honest, because there's more tobaccos I wanna. So here, take a better, better look at that. Um, these are great jars. I gotta get more of these. I got these on Amazon. You can find these anywhere. Um, but yeah, so it was a little wet. Uh, I didn't dry it out. I, was, I just wanted to hit record, do my thing, um, as I'm trying to do, trying to get into a groove. I think I will get better as time goes on. It reminds me of. Uh, well, it's funny. I'll, I'll mention some podcasting stuff here. Because I've done, around this time back in 2016 or 2015, I had to host the Cantina Cast, which is the show I started by myself for a few months while my co-host dealt with some stuff. I'll leave it at that. And, uh, yeah, I was. I tried to do it myself. I, I'm not one to just give up or say, oh, whatever, I need someone to do it, I'll just go and do it, and I, I did, that was rough, it was rough, and then as the years progressed, I've done uh, some other solo things in podcasting, I'm not that great doing the solo stuff, I, I admit, it's, it's, it's a struggle, um, because you're thinking of things in your head, even with this, it's like I'm still trying to learn, process your thoughts as you're talking to the camera, uh, the things you want to talk about, and uh, with podcasting too, you have an idea, and there's a bug, 
uh, of what you want to do and, and what you want to say, but you can get sidetracked very easily. Um, I kind of lose focus a bit when I'm doing podcasts solo. Um, not my strong point, uh, I'll be honest. Um, I'm better with the back and forth and banter with a co-host. Uh, that seems to work better. There's less pressure, I guess, when, you, when you're doing that. Because you're not, you know, you can take a second, gather your thoughts, and kind of continue the conversation. Whereas when you're going solo, you kind of just got to deliver. But I, I think that experience helped me get to this point right now where I'm talking into a camera and you guys and... And I'm a little, yeah, of course, the first two videos were awkward. Um, this one, probably not, you know, the greatest thing in the world either, but I will get better as I go and I start talking to this and getting more comfortable. Um, it'll be fun times, so. But anyway, I do have a, a, kind of an unboxing to show you guys a, a little bit. Nothing, uh, not fancy. It's just something uh, came in the mail. I figured I'll open it up. Well, I already opened it up, but I'll, I'll show you guys what I got. Oh, this is such a good tobacco. This is normally a winter one for me. This isn't really uh, a summer one, but it is kind of quiet in the neighborhood, which is odd because, as I said, I, I think I mentioned in the last video, uh, the fireworks that have been going off since, God, since the world started going upside down. There's been fireworks every night. I don't know if people are bored or whatever, but uh, today it's quiet. Especially after last night. Though I can hear, I heard a train, which is odd because I normally don't hear it. But there's not a lot of traffic out. I think a lot of people kind of just staying in for some reason. I don't know. Because the numbers are going up again. Although in Rhode Island, I think the numbers are kind of still low. But we'll see. We opened uh, phase three tomorrow. which I'm not sure is a good thing, considering numbers are spiking again, or reports of that. I don't know, I don't really watch the news, so. Man, this is good, though. This smell is so relaxing, this uh, Quiet Nights. I forgot how much I enjoyed this one. And surprisingly, it's smoking pretty well. Considering it's wet. Well, not wet, but damp. More than it should. Anyway, let's get to uh, the stuff that came in the mail. Uh, I'll go from least important to important. We'll go with that. Alright, first up is... Ah, these things. Is it this way? Is it that way? I, I don't know. Uh, there you go. Uh, these are for... Let's take a look. I'm actually open... This is actually an unboxing. Here we go. Let's see how this is going to work. So these little L brackets... I don't know if you can see that one. Right here. These look like they use, for God's sakes, Amazon. What, what is this? This looks like it's already been... Did someone get this out of their, their garage or something? Like... Anyway, it's a good thing it's going in the shed and not, like, in the house. Like, like I don't care if it's beat up or whatever. It's, it's going to serve a purpose. And, and that's basically this piece of wood here. And this actually... Oh, see? That fits... I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. Let me, let me do this. Let's see. Can you guys see that? See how it fits in there? Wow. It's like I, I planned that perfectly. Uh, anyway, I'm adding shelves. Hopefully I don't hit the camera there. I'd like to add few shelves over here. I've had these scraps of wood in this shed since we, we got the house and I've been thinking, well, why don't I use them for this? I made a few of these makeshift ones and they're not really set up really that well. I'm surprised these are holding up. Uh, I might have to, uh, I might have to shore that one up um, <laughs> this weekend or something this week. But I got those because I wanted, and this isn't going to, I got to get bigger ones because I got some bigger shells. And I'm thinking of adding that right here too. So stay tuned for that. 
I gotta give you guys something a little more interesting to look at in the background other than my ugly mug here. So, uh, so yeah, so there's that. Nothing spectacular, but I think I finally found these. I, I was looking for a while and I finally decided, oh, I'll go search Amazon and lo and behold, I, I did find it. So there's, that's one. Then the next is this here. I don't know if you can see that. But this is a mount. Oh, we'll open it up, right? It's a Yabo or a unboxing, whatever you want to call it. So this fancy doohickey, which will be interesting because I got, after I bought it, I was thinking about it. <laughs> when I uh, put this is going to go on my my bike. You can put my camera right here, my DSLR. And this will go obviously lock this down on my handlebars. The camera's here, and then I can, you know, do. Oh, this might move a little too much. This is gonna be. We're gonna try the stabilization on this camera, which will be part of my review. But as I told you guys, I wanted to do a review on my Super Seventy Three Z One, and this is part of that. I'm gonna put that there so you can. I'm gonna vlog sort of how I when I ride or whatever, that's going to be interesting how the camera holds up. Of course, I'm going to be nervous that I'm going to, um, I, th I almost thought I wasn't recording, but I am. The light's on. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to, that'll be interesting. I'm, I'm not sure it's going to work out the way I think, because it's going to be pretty bumpy and crazy, but you know what? It's probably going to be better than a phone. We'll find out, right? We'll find out together. Uh, Part of this journey is you coming on the disaster of a show that this is for me learning as I go. And then, you know, maybe someday, years from now, we'll look back at these first three videos and be like, well, you've come a long way, Mike. Or not, if I don't even make it that far. But I have a feeling I'm going to be around a while. At least I plan to. Last but not least, this is cool. This, you know, I don't know if you guys remember, was it the first video? Of course, now I can't grab the thing out that I want. There we go. I'd mentioned the lighting in here because I have this here. But in the video, you'll see these things flickering. Not cool. So now I'm hoping this uh let me make sure i got it right there we go which is a little light by aperture it's even got magnets so i i gotta find a place to put it i don't know if it's gonna be there but let's take a look Woo! like we can go here let's let's turn this light off like ooh, look at that it's like an alien i don't know maybe do we want it like this down here, ooh, that's that's kind of creepy. I look like Frankenstein there. Wow. Or or like this. I don't know. But anyway, there's this. I may pick up another one to be honest. Um, so let me let me turn the light back on here. So I bought this. Um, it's a little cool. I don't know if you can see. Well, it might be too much. There we go. See the little digital reading on that. That's pretty cool. Um, got my charging cable. It's good to have. And comes with some 3M tape, uh, double-sided tape, and this, the diffuser. Let me try putting that on there. Let's see if that that does anything. Interesting contraption. <laughs> Helps if you put it. There we go. There we go, Mike. There we go. That diffuser. Let's try this now. Well, it's not as harsh. That's not bad, but this is like, I don't know. This will be interesting in, when I go to publish this video, how it looks. Uh, I'm going to have to do some testing on this because I wanted to go up, up here, but that 
That looks like, you know, E.T. is coming to get me. So maybe I'll put one here. Gonna backlight? I could backlight there, or, or maybe over there. I don't know. This is interesting. But anyway, uh, look for that shenanigans. Ooh, it's like a crystal ball. Ooh. Let me let me do this. Maybe this will be my thumbnail. Ooh, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is an interesting. It came charged too. Um, almost a full charge on that, and I was very surprised uh, that that would be. Um, Wow, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think this was around a hundred and four or a hundred, hundred bucks. I don't know. Oh, this is kind of cool. That's cool. Like, oh, look at this. Look at that. Ooh. I don't know. Maybe right like that. That's not too bad. Maybe I'll have to. I'll have to get a. I could get a stand for it. It's got a little uh, thread right there. Well, you can't see that because of this light and everything. Let me turn this on. Let me get back to the harsh. Crazy lighting. How'd the camera do with that transition? Looked like it did it all right. All right. Um, so there's that, and it even came with a nice case, which I'm going to throw it in here now, and, and uh, all the goods that come with it. So that's pretty cool. I thought that was really cool. Um, aperture. That's a nice one. Yeah, I, I like it so much right now that I could see myself getting another one. Let me just put this in my little drawer over here just to get it out of the way for now whoops for now but uh yeah so that's that's what came in the mail today i got more stuff coming in the mail and i can't remember what i got coming in the mail there's more stuff and i can't remember what oh the microphone stuff i mentioned that the batteries are coming i i can't i get tons of things coming like all of you i've been spending money i probably shouldn't on things i don't really need but hey you're bored at home this is what happens right so I hope you guys all had a good day. It's a good way to end the day with quiet night. You guys got some stuff in the mail. There's nothing more uh, fun than you come home and you got a package waiting for you. It's a good feeling. Not that I need more stuff. Because, you know, as Tyler Durden says... Uh, the things you own end up owning you. Fight Club, great movie, which is rare these days with Hollywood stuff. And you know, with the week of the 4th coming up, this being the 4th of July week in the States, you would think we'd have fireworks galore tonight, but it's very calm, very peaceful. I should go for a night swim, but it's too cold for that tonight. Tomorrow night, I'm going to do the show with the Cantina cast. We're doing Return of the Jedi, a breakdown of that. Uh, we've been doing a series of... Uh, the Skywalker Saga. Not that I want to talk Star Wars on this channel. I've beaten the death out of talking about Star Wars. I've said just about everything I could say about Star Wars, but um, we'll be doing that. We should be wrapping that up in a couple of weeks. We'll finish the Skywalker Saga because we'll talk about the sequel trilogy. That'll be done, but tomorrow night we're talking about Return of the Jedi, which will be fun. That was my first uh, Star Wars film in the theater, so that'll be interesting. It's always a fun conversation with Albert. This is good. Well, I'm going to finish this up, and I will see you guys probably Wednesday. Won't be a video tomorrow night. Um, like I said, I got the show. We start recording that at 10 o'clock Eastern Time, 9 o'clock Texas Time, Central Time, whatever Albert Time is. Uh, 
yeah, and I'll be dead tired. Unless I'm wide awake. If I'm wide awake, I'll, I'll do a video, but uh, I can't imagine me. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm trying to go to bed earlier, although it's not working out right now, but I'm trying to go to bed a little earlier because I've been getting up at 4.30 every morning, uh, which I like. I actually like getting up early. I've always gotten up early. I've been getting up early at 5 o'clock for years now, ever since I had a dog. I had to get up at 5 to take him out. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyway, that's going to do it for tonight. Thanks for tuning in and I will, uh, see you guys next time.